Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I am doing a full review on the Chanel Executive Surf Tote. This is a new edition that I purchased recently, pre-loved from Fashion File. I did do an unboxing on my channel here and I was happy to report that I finally was able to find the right tote bag for me that works for work. Uh, my 15 inch laptop, as you can see, fits perfectly. So I did get a lot of questions and so I'm gonna answer in this video what fits the dimensions the weights, the details, everything. I'll also finish out the video with mod shots. So let me give you a close up. It does come in the grainy calfskin, which makes it more durable, so I won't have to fuss during the wet seasons when it's raining and snowing here in New York. It also has the beautiful gold hardware, and it is a turn lock in the front. And this is a 14 series. This bag has been discontinued, but I know that there are quite a few out there on the pre-loved market if you are interested. Comes with two top handles as well as a long strap, so I'll show you that in a minute. But let's start with dimensions before I show you what's inside. So I have my trusty tape measure here and I'm going to do approximate measurements. So the length, as you can see, going across is about 14 inches. The height is approximately 10 inches. And the depth is approximately four and a half inches. So it's a really nice size tote. In terms of the strap drop length, I do think that this is something worth noting. If you have, um, let's see here, it's about a seven inch drop length. So it's not tight, but it's also not super generous. So if you have a particular preference for drop length, you may wanna just take notice of this. I have tried this on with bulky sweaters and coats, and it still works fine on my shoulder, but it's close, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not very generous room to put on your shoulder. Okay, so let me open up this bag here. Here's the turn lock. This is where you have one large compartment. Here's the main compartment. I have it filled at the moment with an organizer that I got from Zimoni. There is a zippered compartment. I think I showed you all of this in my unboxing video. But if you wanted to put something secure in there, you could do that. If you wanted to use this bag for travel as well, you can put your passports in that zippered compartment. And there's also another zippered compartment on this side behind the organizer, very roomy. So I do love compartments. You guys know if you've been here before. This one here, I would probably put my phone in this back pocket, which I'm filming with at the moment, but let me just grab, um, is it in here? Oh yeah, it is in here. Here's just an extra spare phone case that I have. I would put it back here because when I wear this on my body, this part would be the closest to me, so it would be the easiest access. It would probably also be the most secure. So, yep, let's get into this bag. So there is a magnetic closure, which I think is awesome. There are also four feet on the bottom, as you can see, which is a plus. So it's quite heavy at the moment. I'm gonna talk about how much it weighs when it's empty. But right now I've got my 15 inch laptop, which makes it, you know, quite heavy. And then I also have a, a full water bottle in here. So that makes it even heavier. This is a standard 16.9 fluid ounce. And there is a little cup holder here with the Zumoni organizer. So that works out perfectly. By the way, I also have this one that my friend gave to me. It's the gorgeous Chanel number no. five glass water bottle. If you wanted to see, this does fit in that little holder. It sticks out a little bit, but not too bad. I'll show you really quickly if you wanted to get a sense of the sizes. The Chanel bottle is a bit bigger, a bit taller, but not considerably so. So just want to show you that really quickly. Okay, and then it's quite dark at the moment because it's black on black, but here I have a notebook, of course, for taking notes. This is meant to be a work bag, so I would always have a notebook. Here is my mini pochette from LV, just for my little bits and bobs. I've got a bunch of things in here that are just my daily go-tos, lotion, lip balm, things like that. This is my mini O case. I'm using this currently as a wallet, so I've got my cards and cash in here. And then um, also have my sunglasses for those sunny days. And then because there are compartments within the organizer built in as well, I've got 
a little snack. This pumpkin bar is from Trader Joe's. It's quite good. Very, very autumn appropriate. My key pouch as well goes into that little compartment. So it's really snug and secure. So that's it. And then in this cup holder here, you can't see because it is a black hole, is the longer strap. I'm going to show you. This one, I measured it. It is 37 inches in length. It's not adjustable. When I do the mod shots later, I'll show you what it looks like with and without this. So the way it works is there are little um, hoops here. So I can clip them on. I don't know if it's a little tricky because it's quite close to the end of the strap. Or the handles, I should say. But there you go. There's one. And get this one in. So I covered the dimensions, the strap length, the drop length of the top handles. This really shouldn't be that hard, but I'm also trying to look through the cameras as the camera is set up on a tripod right in front of me. So it's a little bit tricky, but there you go. Okay. So, oh yeah, my phone, my phone case. So you could technically leave the longer strap on and just have it sort of dangle. You can do that. Or you can have it removed and just leave it at home or place it inside. The only thing I'm not showing, let me go grab it. Uh, this one here, this pouch came with it. I mentioned it in my unboxing. It's a really nice pouch and it actually snaps onto the sides of the bag, but the snaps don't really hold very well, so they come undone quickly um, but this can be also used as like a catch-all for things but I haven't washed this yet and because I got this pre-loved I do want to wash this part um, at least the inside of the main compartment is covered by the felt organizer so I feel a little bit less icky about it <laughs> I'm not a huge germaphobe but for things like this that are all fabric I, I definitely want to I want to wash it okay in terms of weight I did weigh this and empty, like completely empty. It comes out at just under two pounds, which yay, meets my, you know, under my threshold. Um, it comes out at basically about one pound, 15 ounces. And then this organizer, which I'll pull out, this is actually the extra thick version from Zimoni because I wanted it for the structure. I really wanted this to retain its structure. So I got the thick one, so it weighs a little bit more. This by itself is about nine ounces. So if you put it all together, the bag with the organizer, it's gonna come out at almost two and a half pounds. So it's not light, but it's also not super heavy. I know that there are plenty of canvas and nylon and vegan leather options out there that would be considerably lighter. Um, but yeah, what can I say? I fell for this bag. I will show quick mod chats at the end. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.